Tifu by buying my girlfriend a Christmas present and having a Sephora employee ruin the surprise. First of all, this happened a couple days ago, secondly, it wasn't me who cheesecake up, it was the employee, I cheesecake up by trusting her. We all know how difficult it is to get your girlfriend a Christmas present. To make it easier on my stupid self, my girlfriend has a list with all the things she likes shared with me so that whenever I need to get her a present for some occasion I can get some help from there. I went to the mall to get one of the list items from Sephora, the only makeup item in the list, and after what felt like hours inside that sparkly store I finally found the right product in the shade she liked. Went to check out and the employee kidly asks me if I have a Sephora loyalty card, I told her I didn't have one but my girlfriend did, but I preferred not to use it in case she got any emails or something like that about the purchase. No, she won't get any emails at all are you sure she won't know in any way? This is a present yeah she won't get any emails. She then proceeded to wrap my present and I went home. A day goes by, I look at my phone and see a message from my girlfriend honey. You know the Sephora card is linked to my email right? TLDR, Sephora employee told me my girlfriend wouldn't get notified I got her a Christmas present. She did. You could always make yourself a Sephora account so this doesn't happen next time. Sucks the surprise was ruined frown. Just wear the product to throw her off and spice up your relationship. Yes. There's a button that employees can press that either emails their receipt, prints it, or both. Out of habit, she most likely did both. Sorry that the surprise was ruined. It will show up on her purchase history however if she does check that and you give her account to collect the points. Get her a second present. Either a cheaper, one to give before the real one, so as to be able to say, I had to change the present cause the surprise was ruined, and then surprise her with the real one again. Or a more expensive one, that she really wants, and give that one with the Sephora one, don't give Sephora before the expensive one, that's admitting defeat. Apparently alter Sephora. Tifu by reading the date wrong for my English final and missing it. So yeah, the title says it all. I swear to God and all things holy that I read the date for my exam as December 12th. But it turns out that I am a complete and utter sack of limp dicks and it was on December 9th. I've been studying for the past two weeks for this exam and it was two days ago. I don't know what to do. I contacted my teacher and university and they haven't said anything that helps me yet. I tried so so hard this semester, harder than I think I ever have. This is the second time I've done this English class course get this. I failed my final the last time. I am so so angry at myself. I was so hopeful that I'd pass this time, I actually enjoyed the class even though it was an 8am class and cheesecake hasn't been going well for my family and I as of late so this just adds to the enormous cheesecake storm that is my life right now. Sorry I am ranting but god damn it I wish I was never born. If I can't do the exam I don't know what I'm gonna do, I don't know how I'm going to tell my family that I'm such a cheesecake idiot that I read the date wrong not once but numerous times. I hate myself more than I've ever hated myself before. I don't think it's possible to resent oneself more than I do now. TL, doctor I missed my final exam and kept studying on like the moron I am. In 10 years, this isn't going to matter. Hell, it probably won't in 5. If you can't make up the test you'll just have to suck it up and take the class again, and it'll suck, but you can do it, and you can learn from this mistake too. Who knows, maybe something good will even come of it. Maybe, if you have to take the test again you'll end up meeting a lifelong friend. At the very least, you'll have a cautionary tale to tell people about checking dates and marking calendars. And on the bright side, if you have to take the class again, you'll be like, super prepared. I'm a literature professor. I had a student miss my final. I was pissed, but I let him make it up by writing an essay instead. Did you by any chance grow up using date slash month slash year format instead of the American month slash date slash year? Because that would be an easy mistake, always happens to me reading American dates and you could have easily read the first number and ignored the second, because the month isn't as relevant on a day to day basis. If that's the case, definitely tell your professor as it might encourage them to be more lenient. Yeah that's exactly what I did lol. I've done that a few times now and I'm driving myself crazy because of it. Everything else in my life is day slash month slash year but school uses the American format. 
you'll get to retake it right? I almost missed a final as I didn't properly read the letter and it turns out it wasn't at the usual place. I only found it in time, I was a little late, due to running into a friend that took me. I'll always remember Eric. I did really badly but I think they let me pass it anyway. I later missed the deadline for submitting my dissertation and got to submit it the next year. I failed to do so. Skeptical so just make sure you keep up your motivation. Only slightly related but I failed the cheesecake out of an international econ theory course one year. First time I ever failed a course. Took it again and grinded my face into the pavement to pass things. It was a lecture and the only scores are three tests. Test 1. Again. Failed, but barely. Test 2. C plus. Test 3. C finals season comprehensive exam my head was full of banana because this is also the year i came close to offing myself due to depression and anxiety i got better still i'm good but i went to every study session every class studied in khan academy did tutoring but the cheesecake just doesn't stick for me and there are so many models with so many moving variables that i got to the final and knew i was okay with some stuff but most of other stuff i definitely cheesecake up so after the last question time was almost out i wrote a letter detailing how hard i tried how i failed before how i was really struggling emotionally and if the professor checked the study session and tutoring logs he would see how hard i tried literally begged them to pass me as i wanted to focus on human rights and development in my career not econ and it with my fate is in your hands i'm sorry went home and cried because i knew i would have to retake it again and it would mess up my chances of graduating early more money Money, time, stress. All things I was already struggling to manage. Doomsday came and I didn't even want to look at my grade. Friend sat down with me and convinced me to do so, with him by my side. Logged in and what the zucchini be ended up passing the class with a c i cried for joy i literally had no issues like this in any other class tld i'll be honest and vulnerable with your educators they may well see that you really tried your best but still coconut up and decide to give you the benefit of the doubt but then they might be a hard client cheesecake but you never know if you don't push it and try good luck Tifu by sucking coconut. NSFWTL, doctor at the bottom. Tifu about 4 hours ago. I can still taste the vomit. I, 20F, recently left a guy after 6 years of dating. He's the only person I've had a relationship and sexual experience with. I never really had experience other than the same boring missionary coconut and light BJ every 4 months. I'm trying Tinder out ATM, it's a good time waster, confident booster, and a rebound finder. I've sexted with people and made plans with a few boys but I got too nervous to meet with them. I'm very awkward in most social settings and in bed I can only imagine it's much, much worse. For that reason I never met anyone on Tinder until today. So the guy I met with, we'll call him Brandon. Brandon is really sweet and funny. We have a lot of the same interests and moral reasonings. He seems mature and can take a joke. He's like the perfect guy I would be looking for if I wanted a long long-term relationship. Oh I only want a short-term thing nothing serious. He wants a serious relationship and he lives over an hour away from me. I don't want to be a part of either of those but I think I could make it work for him. We've been talking for a while so I thought I would make a decision to commit or not after we meet in person. We met today. Again Brandon is amazing. We hung out for a while. We cuddled, played video games, watched movies, played with my pets basically did all of my favorite things. Then we started started to get down to Buizness. There was a lot of foreplay involved. During the foreplay I was kneeing him in the butternut a lot because of the position we were in. Was also horrible at French kissing my last relationship the guy wouldn't do it so Brandon laughed when he found out how bad I was. We moved into the bedroom. After making out, cheesecake play, jerking him off, more cheesecake play, my turn for oral, just those over and over. We have cheesecake but he wants to finish in my mouth. I told him before I'm good at not gagging, but I can't help it when a guy butternut in my mouth. He forces my head all the way down his banana and balls and banana down my throat. Then I feel a lot of acid in my mouth and chunks of my eggs this morning actually threw up. 
and I actually kept butternut going. Brandon was forceful and dominant, with my consent, the entire time but when he came he asked in the smallest voice if I was okay. He knew something was up. I could feel him pulsating in my mouth and the chunks floating around. But I swallowed it all and happened like nothing happened. I kept going until he told me to stop after he went soft. I tried to make sure if all the puke was off, but I only got a quick glance. I hope to god this junk doesn't smell. The rest of the day with him went fine. More cuddling, TV, video games, and we had lunch. But but that was the most disturbing banana I have ever done in my life. Hope he didn't notice or he forgets. I really like him and I don't want him to run away. TL, Dr. My Cheesecake Game is horrible, I need him in the balls a lot and can French kiss for cheesecake. I also sucked his cheesecake on the first date and threw up while he came. Just let this entire thing blow over. Guys stop bull lying me frown frown. That's gotta suck. I am dying on the inside happened to me before. GF puked on my banana. She's now my wife. Guys don't care that much. But you knew she puked? Or did she tell you? You're fine. He sounds like a decent guy. Remember, there's two people here. If you don't want to swallow, make yourself heard. You shouldn't be with someone who's not interested in your comforts. Which he really does sound like a decent guy. So I bet he'd listen and stick around. You'll feel better because you made your needs know. Also, you didn't cheesecake up. You didn't throw up on purpose. The good ones stick around through good, bad and ugly, like the vomits and the other gross stuff that happens cause we're human. I wanna pleasure him so what he did was fine. I'm okay with deep zucchini and swallowing, I guess I just can't do it at the same time ha <laughs> ha. My ex straight up threw up on my butternut. Wasn't a big deal. We dated for like 6 months after that. 